and concept. If you can master floats and clears, I am confident that you'll be in excellent shape for any direction that you want to go in with web development. We're going to review float and clear with a very quick exercise before we start lab 11. I've opened the lab in my code editor. I did not add the normalize file for now. We'll talk about that in a bit. So this right here, you can see my week 11 lab. This is what it should look like. Let me zoom out a little bit. This is the whole thing, what it should look like. And this, let me go to the code. Let's see if I have the live. Yeah, there it is. This is what it does look like. So it looks like the H1, the red H1, is already all the way across the page. And that's what it's like in the final file. So we won't have to make any changes to the H1. But this page, it looks like, goes all the way across. And we need to divide that into two sections. It says in the instructions, we can add divs and a clear fix to the HTML file if needed. So let's get started. We need to create a style sheet for starters. Let's add that. I'm going to go to my floating clearing and right click. New file style.css. All right. And let's open that. And uh, we're going to want to link this to the HTML document. So here we are. And that looks good. There's another link here for an older uh, style sheet, and it's got the older syntax that style sheets used to have, which had the forward slash at the end. We don't have to do that anymore with HTML5. Now let's go to the CSS, and I'd like to add the clear fix here, and I guess I'll just copy it from week 10. Um, should be here. Yep, there it is. Control C. and control V. Do a save. Let's get the box. Let me go back up to week 10 and the styles. And let's get the box sizing in also. Actually, I think I'll collect all of this so that you can have that little comment. Copy and paste. So we have a box sizing border box in there now, too. Uh, so now I'm going to look at the HTML file and the example, actually, this example. So I've got a paragraph, a list, a couple of paragraphs, three paragraphs. Let's see if I can add some divs to this so that I can style. Let's see. Here's the first paragraph. I wonder if the header should be included. I might have to move this, but we'll see. Uh, I might not use this class, but if I need it, it'll be there. And I want to end this after that. And let's see, was that the right? Actually, this is the left. And then this will be the right.
three paragraphs and I'll close this div. Great, let's save and beautify so that we can get every all the indents looking right. There they are. And now we have two IDs that we can use for styling. I'll say that each of these halves get 50% of the page because that's about what it looks like. So here on the HTML, I'll add some right and left divs. Oh no, I've done that. I'll add it to the classes. And I'm going to use the comma since this is a compound selector, multiple selectors. Or, actually, since I did add that content class, I could add that because I'm going to make both of these 50% since they're both going to be the same. I can use the dot content class. And then I'll use my IDs for the right side. I'm going to want padding left. And I'm not sure, but let's see, as I look at this, let's see, that's 900 wide. So uh, maybe that's 400 and that's 400 and this is 100, which would make half of that. Uh, 5% I'm guessing here, but I think I'm close. We can always change it. And then I'll just copy this rule and change this word to left and this word to right. Save and refresh. All right. In the next video, we'll wrangle this and make them side by side, and we'll get these two promo photo and promo logos side by side.